Hello everyone, myself Pavani. I'm working as Assistant Professor in CSC AML Department at ML Institute of Technology. Today I would like to give a session on transformation based tagging. In previous video, we discussed POS tagging under POS tagging, different types of there. So, rule based POS tagging, stochastic POS tagging, and final one, transformation based POS tagging, right? See the overview of today's session. So, coming to introduction and working for PBL, that means transformation based learning and advantages and disadvantages steps for to follow the TBL tagging and see the example. So, coming to the first one, what is the meaning of here introduction to the uh, TBL, right? So, transformation based tagging. Here, before the TBL, it is also called as a Brill tagging. We discussed in the POS tagging, right? In previous session, POS taggers. One of the POS taggers is a Brill taggers. Brill tagger. This is one of the POS tagging Brill tagger. It transforms one state to another state by using the transformation. That means, suppose for example, take machine translation. I am translating one language to another language. We are applying based on some rules, right? So, based on some transformation rules, we I am uh, transferring the one state to another state. Here, I am assigning and defining the some word packs to the transformation rules. How the TBL works, right? So, in order to translate, first understand the TBL tagging, we have to understand the what is the meaning of here TBL. So, start with the solution. TBL usually starts with the some solution to the problem and works in the form of a cycles. That means step by step processor. Let's see the beneficial transformation chosen by. In each cycle, TBL will choose the most beneficial transformation. And apply the problem. Whenever I, I am applying the problem, the transformation chosen in the last step will be applied to the problem. So, the algorithm will stop and select the transformation in step 2 will not add their more value or no more transformation to be selected. Suppose the transformation is completed at, at the end of the uh, second stage only it will stop the process and it will apply to the that more uh, weightage values and there is no more transformations are there. Let us see the advantages. We learn a smallest of simple rules and these rules are enough for the tagging right. And DVM is very easy in TBL and complexity is tagging is reduced. But TB is much, much more faster than the Marco model, hidden Marco model. Compared to HMM, TBL is a some, a somewhat efficient model. So, see the disadvantage here. It contains a, some tag probabilities. It does not provide it, but HMM will provide tagging probabilities, but uh, TBL not provide the uh, tagging probabilities. The training is very long, especially in last program because it will take some efficient some sufficient time. See the example here, step by step process for TBL based learning. See, I am taking here the change can change the mouse, right? Here the die is a determiner, change is a verb, right? Some cat is a noun, change is a verb, and die is a determiner, and mouse is a noun. Here, what is the first initialization step? For first, we have to initialize the tagging, right? By, by using the basic method and applying the defined transformation rules. See, the rules are created based on the word context. You already known, right? So, some verb to noun phase. <coughs> See, iterative refinement, the system will apply the rules sequentially updating the incorrect tags. So, by using iteration, we are applying, we are recapping the incorrect tags. So, what is the final output to get the best output, best uh, POS tagging output? We will assign. Let us see the example here. Now, can can hold here see the the can can hold the hot water right what is the initial tagging that means initial tagging applying the POS tagging <coughs> each word is tagged with the its most frequent tag right let's see the is a determiner right here can is a model here by default it first takes the can can also model but according to our criteria and human evaluation but can is here a noun right Next, can is a model. That means we have to modify this uh, by using peer build taggers to correct sentences, right? Hold is a somewhere, water is a some noun, right? See that after applying the transformation rules, we can get the final sentence. Let's see. Now we have to define the context based rules to the to correct the mistakes. What is the mistake here? Can not be a model, right? It is a uh, noun phrase, right? See rule one change MD2, that means model to noun. That means follow the determiner. The is a determiner followed by the noun. This is a main drawback to change the P after P after transformation, applying the transformation rules to the actual word. 
it means actual PO is tagging. Change MD to verb. Previous word is a noun. It is a major in transformation PBL, TDL, uh, TBL tagging. So applying uh, rules iteratively. So what is the rule one? First can after the the. So can changes from the MD right. So applying rule two. Second can after some changes to MD to verb. So see the table here. The is a determiner. Can is a noun. Here in in the can is a in previous can is a some model, but here noun. After applying a transformation rule, it will change to the noun. See can is a verb here and whole is a verb. And what is a noun? This is the final output. The can is a can is a noun. Can is a verb. This is the final modification. The final sentence output. This is the today's session. We discussed that TBL and with examples and disadvantages and advantages. Thank you.